Hoots, it's Jonathan Liu, and today I'm going to be going over setting up a relay switch for a hydroponic system. In this video, you will need a couple of things. An Arduino, an Arduino relay switch, breadboard wires, and or multi-core wires, and an extension cord. Any electronic device that you would like to be controlled. Links will be provided below. This video will be divided into three sections. The first is the basic principle of a relay. The second will be setting up a relay switch. The third will be the programming. Links will be in the description below to take you to those sections. A relay can be a very difficult application to first understand. In simple terms, a relay is a device that uses an electromagnet to mechanically pull two connections together to complete a circuit. In the exact way your finger mechanically pushes two contacts together in the toggle switch. A relay is used whenever... Where a relay is used wherever a small, low-power device, in this case the Arduino, or power supply, needs to switch on a much larger one, usually completely isolated from the signal's power source, or at a much higher voltage than the signal could provide. For example, if I need to program a light to turn on when it gets dark in the room, or a pump to turn on only when the solar is at a certain pH level, the Arduino will be unable to do so because it can only provide 5 volts. Instead, I need a relay switch so that switch is on when 5 volts is provided so that the light can be turned on. To set up a relay, I recommend buying a relay switch designed for Arduino. Let's look at each place for connection on our relay. These three pins will be connected to the circuit. The leftmost pin is connected to the digital input. The symbol S denotes signal. When the digital pin is activated, it supplies voltage to the relay. The middle pin is connected to a 5 volt on our breadboard. The plus symbol denotes positive voltage. The rightmost pin is connected to a common ground. The negative symbol denotes ground. Ground is the lowest potential energy point in the circuit. If you need more help understanding the concepts of circuitry, please visit other YouTube videos. Next is the process of splicing the extension cord. Use an X-Acto knife and carefully strip the outer insulation so that you can see the internal wires. Splice the black wire and strip about 1 or 2 centimeters of insulation. Connect the black wire close, closer to the plug that would go into an outlet into the middle terminal. Connect the other black wire into the normally open terminal. Make sure that you wrap electrical tape around any wire that is not insulated. Now let's go to the code. Let's open an Arduino sketch. In our setup, we have to set, set up our relay switch. Type pin mode. The, which is the number pin that the signal is connected to, and output. In the void loop, I wrote a simple if-else statement. If I, I said, if the analog read method that returns a number for the brightness in the room, turn the relay on. To turn it on, type the method digital write your number pin and high. The high stands for high voltage. In the else case, if the brightness is too high, then turn the relay off. The low denotes low voltage. If, you, if you've done this correctly, connect something to the extension cord and it should turn on and off, depending on the parameters you coded for when to turn on. Thanks for watching, and I hope this was helpful.